Go ahead and tell everybody I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Chanman219, and today I am bringing you guys some road to the show on MLB The Show 18. Now, I understand that I am late on this, alright, but I mean, you know, it's just, it's it's coming around now, alright? So, um, I'm going to be making a third baseman, he's from the western region, I believe it is, uh, Make them completely custom. Uh, as you guys are going to see, I, I just started looking for, you know, just out there names, you know, but nothing, you know, necessarily too crazy, but not something that's like really serious. So I was just, you know, looking around. I see like, you know, Elvis, and I see stuff like that, and there's like Kermit, and I'm like, you know what? I, I have an idea. So I'm going to actually settle on Jumbo Hack. Now I understand that sounds like, you know, just a silly name. And, you know, it's like, oh, I thought you wasn't looking for too silly. Well, you know, there's, if you guys know will be the show uh, names, then it can get pretty silly. So I'm going to speed things up right here. I'm going to settle on the number 99 because he takes 99% uh, big Jumbo Hacks. He's going to be from Montana. See here, I'm messing around with the skin tone a little bit. Not a huge deal, though. I'm going to make him 6'8", and I'm actually going to settle with 264 um, for his weight in pounds. He's going to be buff. I mean, I'm going to make a dude big. Uh, later down the road, I might make him bigger or whatever. I'm going to probably, you know, make it look so that he doesn't look too, like, ridiculous. Because right now, he looks a little uh, weird. You guys will see uh, when he's batting, he won't look exactly completely normal. I'm going to go with the balding hair uh, cut. Not completely sure why. I just thought it looked nice. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go through these uh, nice, uh, nice facial hair options we got here. So right here, I'm gonna settle on this batting stance. I first I lowered it and then I raised his bat up. And then I tried to adjust the elbow, wouldn't let me. I brought the his front leg back, but then I thought, you know what, bring it closer to him actually, and then uh, widen his stance up a bit. Um, so it's like almost looks like he's like a pull friendly guy. And then um, just going through the different swing types, you guys are probably uh, flipping out, uh, and your eyes are probably uh, all jacked up now. But yeah, I'm going to settle on this uh, No Doubt Home Run Celebration. This looks absolutely hilarious, watching him run around like this. Um, and uh, fast forward, but uh, it's uh, it, I'm just trying to look at all these things. I'm like, you know what, I don't want to look too long. Uh, this one looks pretty good. Flex there, so it's like, you know what. Seems all right. Going through the uniform, we're gonna have the high socks. Of course, his sleeves are gonna be short because it's like you know he's so big. You know, even the they weren't even ready for this guy. I mean, you know, his jersey's just not even gonna fit him, and they can't get him this size. You know what I'm saying? So we're going through um, his bat collar right now, helmet style. Um, I don't know, you know, exactly what all uh, to do at this point. I'm, you know, just trying to find stuff that I think kind of fits with, you know, what he could be. Uh, but I don't know, you know, what he's going to look like with all this stuff because I don't know what team he's going to play for. So I don't know exactly how well it's going to fit in with everything. But we get to the cleats. Um, obviously, you know, I'm going to have actual licensed uh, equipment cleats. But um, first we have to head into the uh, scout day, the Bowman scout day. And uh, you see here he's... Uh, Gonna be a big dude, uh, 6'8", 264 pounds, and you'll see exactly how big he looks at the plate here in a couple seconds. Uh, the loading screens are actually quicker in 18 than they were in 17 16. I was like really surprised, uh, but they are like twice as fast. It's like really crazy. Um, so we're going through the speech by Coach Lipskind, or whatever his name is. Um, and now, about to run the dash, but he's so, he's so slow. I mean, it's just not going to... So I'm just going to... not going to save him the embarrassment a little bit here. So he's stretching here, going all out, you know, trying to make sure he's prepared. And then I'm going to talk with the batting instructor or whatever. Nice hair, by the way. First pitch comes in. 
Check swing. Why? Why? I don't. I don't know why it did that to me. But look how like his legs look kind of like skinny. He looks like a uh, even taller, um, not you know fat, but more, like a buff side of a, a Babe Ruth. So, many big so I'm I'm kind of like you know what? Might have to make him a little bit bigger because of the size for it to all even out. But I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet. But now we actually uh, started the evaluation. And things you know are looking kind of bleak for him here uh, early on. It's uh, not looking too good. Uh, he's popping the ball up, hitting ground balls. Uh, he might have gotten one maybe base hit out of that, and that was the uh, Most of today's scout day pretty much it up until this ball that he prospect, hit, which it probably would be caught by a center fielder. But I mean, still pretty solid contact, especially for this evaluation. Any of you guys that have played MLB The Show 18, gone through the uh, scouting evaluation for hitting, you know that it's it's practically impossible to hit a home run here. Uh, it basically like takes all of your attributes and like takes like 10 15 maybe 20 off I don't know but it's like your PCI is a lot bigger when you get to the minor leagues and uh, after you're drafted and stuff so you don't have to worry about that too much uh, but he does you know get a hold of a few baseballs and drive them deep especially these uh, last two there uh, hit the one off the base of the wall and then that one I think at one hop of the wall, and now you know just talking to the coach or whatever, just you know, just try to take some hacks. You know, I struggled early on and bounced back a little bit. And then fielding instructor, you know, he's balding too, so it's like you know, they kind of fit in together. And uh, gonna be fielding ground balls to the left here first. So here's this. At the major league level. First ball is going to be hit on a range over, grab, looks to throw it on the first. As he can. Nice play there. It's going to boost the stock up a little bit. And then, next pitch. This one's going to be hit. Nice range. Sets, throws. Got him at first. This thing's looking pretty good defensively. And, you know, he's probably not even going to be really known for his defense. But, you know, he's just putting on a show here so far. I'm going to backhand that one. Just, you know, ever so gracefully just throw that one over to first. And here, this one is going to be hit. It's a pretty nice play here. Well, could have been a nice play if you would have came up with it. Um, and then... Now we're going to have to field double plays. This ball's hit. I'm going to have to go in just a step or two. Throw it on the second. Throw it on the first. I'll uh, charge double plays a lot of the time if they're in front of me because that shortens up time to get into it. That's the quicker you can turn the double play. So uh, if you guys ever wonder why I do that, then that's why. Um, that one, I tried to make a running throw, and it he didn't do the running animations, so I was kind of thrown off a little bit there, and then I kind of just... Didn't know exactly what to do. Um, but that one's going to be hit on the ground. Okay. Uh, kind of sidearm whip that one to second and then the throw to first. And then here we go. Blunt defense now. I'm just going to charge in. and I mean, I'll, some of these that were, you know, bunted, like, I don't know if it was the last one or the second from the last one. These were, like, ones that the catcher would maybe have. You know, because it's not like anybody's on. So, I mean, the catcher would probably just grab them and just, you know, throw them. But, you know what? It, it's all good. This one, not so much. It might be this one that was actually almost picked up by the catcher. Um, yeah, it was this one. Catcher almost picked that one up, actually. And then this one didn't really make it to the circle there with the throw. But, you know, still... Uh, Grabbed by the Done first baseman with a nice stretch. There's a representative. Is met by one just, of the uh, thanks, man. Just, uh, thanks for, uh, having me at this point. So, here, they're gonna the come in and talk to me. Um, and, I don't know if it's just me, but this guy looks kind of like a Carl Anthony Towns, Chance the Rapper kind of mix. I don't know what's up with that, but, um, I'm gonna actually go with bat first. Be like Jeff Bagwell and Gary Sanchez. Gonna go for the arm, but uh, 
and the uh, power and the arm. And uh, I'm going to have really bad uh, speed, but it's all good. Um, but yeah, that is the first episode of this series. I hope you guys enjoy. I already have the next episode ready and prepared. It will probably be up tomorrow. But uh, as for now, that is all I have for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you all later. Ooh, it's just me, myself, and I. Solo ride until I die. Cause I got me for life. Yeah. Ooh, I don't need a hand to hold. Even when the night is cold. I got that fire in my soul. Uh.